Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Today, I'm joined Sunday dinner time by <laughs> Leon from Derby. Derby. How are you doing, Leon? Not bad, man. You? I'm all right. What uh, yeah. What would you like to talk about? I believe you've got some uh, questions and notes you've made. Uh, well, yeah, I've got um, all the fights from Hearn, uh, Warren and Owl's card as well. Yep, that's there. All right, then. Fly away. On, so, um, on the Anthony Yard card last night, uh, we had Catrol Itauma against Luis Van Poets. Um, obviously, Poets had 123 defeats. Do you really think that someone like that should be on a big card? No. No, I don't. No. No, it's just... No. Can do better than that, can't they? But Yeah. Matt, you don't know circumstances around matchmaking. They might have been struggling to get somebody in and they might have been added mm. leads just to, just to get a kid a run out and get a few quid in his pocket for Christmas. I don't know, but it's got to be better than that, hasn't it? Uh, there was a return of the legend as well, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> yeah. uh, he was fighting Jamie Quinn, who has seven victories and 105 defeats. Um, what, are, what are your thoughts on that fight? And how do you think it went? Muhammad Ali was managed by Asif Valley and Francis Warren, the kid who got done for the drugs at the EIS. Mm. That's him, isn't it? yeah. I think he's a good prospect. So I think he's a good prospect. Yep, and then you've got Dennis McCann versus Pedro Matos. I thought that was a good fight, personally. I think McCann did well. Dennis um, wins her world title. You reckon? Yeah, he's, he's exceptional. He's, off, he's he's fantastic. He is really that good. Yeah, I, th I thought he, he looks like he's really good on his feet and he's got he's obviously got power behind his shots as well to back that up. So I think he'll do well. Uh Maybe he will get a world title. We'll soon see. We'll soon see, won't we? Yeah. Uh, then you've got Chris Burke versus uh, Michael Rama Well, I must what, have... What's that about? What's that about? I must have uh, gone into the kitchen to get my pot noodle when that started. Yeah. 18 wins, 17 losses for that Rama Beletza. <laughs> It's just another mismatch, isn't it, really? What, now, what after that? Uh, then you've got the, the main event, Lyndon Arthur, Anthony Yard. Right. Oh, dear me. We are going to cover Eddie's show to, um, from Friday as well after this, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Lyndon Arthur against Anthony Yard. I had Anthony Yard to win, and he didn't win. He got beat comfortably, but it yeah. was a decision. I thought uh, Lyndon Arthur controlled him with a jab and a lot of credit has mm -hmm. to Lyndon Arthur's team. They've done fantastic with him and brought him on and learnt him a lot. And learnt him also, and, and other people should copy this, the jab's the most important. It's been a week mm -hmm. and it from Joe Joyce's to Lyndon Arthur's and they've showed what, what a weapon a jab, a jab can be. Full credit to Pat Barrett. He, he's slid under radar as a, as, a, as a trainer and I think he'll go on to do good things in the sport. Uh, mm. As regards Anthony Yard and Tunde, well, there were, Tunde made quite a few mistakes, didn't he? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they'll last, but they can't be screaming robbery because Ian John Lewis had it by six rounds to Yard. What, what were he watching? I know, I thought that. It was, um, I think... Clearly, the ref, uh, the judge was thinking he was landing when he wasn't. Yeah, uh, Arthur was just keeping him at distance with the jab. That's all he had to do the whole fight. And like you say, we've had a couple of them now, and it's. I think it's probably going to be the way to go in boxing for the next couple of months. What's that? The bad decisions, you mean? The jab. Well, we've had bad decisions for a long time, Orky. <laughs> Leon, right, right. What we're we talking about here, you're talking about Ian John Lewis's scorecard or what, or a jab, what you're talking about? The jab. Um, first of all, yeah, yeah, the jab, the jab. Uh, yeah, people might just go back to using jab instead of trying to be right and happy all the time. 
Mm. They wanted to use the backhand all the time. They might start using the jabs and get the fundamentals right. And I think Pat Barrett got the game plan spot on and he showed that he's emerging as a good trainer. Um, yeah. Just because you don't see him hanging out at the back of IFL all the time, right? It doesn't mean to say that he ain't a good trainer because there's a lot of people that are hanging out of the back of IFL and boxing soldiers. Yeah. The really, they're not that good, but they make it out. No. He's done well, Lyndon Arthur, to beat Yard. Who let's allow it right? He rocked cover left in in a world title fight a year ago. Yeah. So Lyndon Arthur's done well. I didn't think he could beat Yard. I thought he'd get jobbed on scorecards. Yeah, same. Uh, he didn't know. He, he beat him fair and square. And I don't think there needs to be a rematch. We're talking rematch, but. Why? They don't need to be a rematch with that fight. No. Um, sorry, say again? It was conclusive, the win for Lyndon Arthur. It won't come. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like, like I say, just, he kept him at range. Um, he, he just controlled the fight, even though he looked like he was on the back foot for most of the fight. He was the one landing the punches. Where 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 they've got that scored car from, Ah. Uh, it's a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? You oh, know, people. I, yeah, I noticed that Terry O'Connor's uh, been working, and he? He's, he's been, they've slipped mm. him on a couple of them TK shows, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, after that card against Ritson, but didn't he and John Lewis turn in a bad card in in one fight in one a couple of bad cards this year? Uh, and he, he seems to get work. But we we all know what Ian John Lewis is. He always goes with the home promoter because they're the mm. ones that are paying, aren't they? And yeah. How, yeah. how he's had that fight by six rounds, I don't know. And other two have gone for other guys. He's way off mark, and I think he needs to be yeah. brought out to score a fight because it's shocking. And like I said, mm. John yeah. Lewis is going to be here for years. They'll be picking money up till he's 70, 80 year old. It's shocking yeah. that you can be allowed near a boxing ring when they're judging like that. That's awful. Awful. Yeah, it's a joke. It's it a is a joke. Judges that are getting away with it and referees making massive mistakes. But Ian John Lewis, you are not a judge. You're not a referee. <laughs> the only man in the world that can stop a train at 125 mile an hour. <laughs> he's always, he's always there again. He's like Johnny Nelson, isn't he? He's always, always there. He's always there trying to steal evening. <laughs> so, yeah. right then, so we've covered the Frank show then. What did you think overall of the show out of 10? What would you give it? Out of 10, probably a five. You know, it, it was okay. It was it was a boxing show, wasn't it? It was all right. It, it wasn't the best. It wasn't like any Anthony Joshua car or... Tyson Fury card. Not, I think a lot of problems are coming with these matches where they're getting people with undefeated records against people with over 100 losses in it. It's, it's a bit of a joke, to be honest. Yeah. So what were you, what you, what are you giving it? A five out of ten? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, moving on then. Back up a little bit to Eddie Hill's show. What do you think? <laughs> or no. <laughs> go, go for it, go for it. Uh, So, Lewis Edmondson versus John Telford. Well, I thought um, that was only 50 fight on the card. Yeah. And Lewis well, Edmondson won, didn't he? Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. Um, in the uh, third round. Third round, it was called off. Yeah, Deontay Dixon went next one in, wasn't he? Yep, against Angelo Dragoni. He's one for future the same. <laughs> Math, Math, yeah, uh, like Sugar Ray Leonard, didn't he? What did you think to that? I, I don't know, to be honest. it's It was a bit weird. Yeah. I don't really know what to say about it, to be honest. I know that uh, Dragoni suffered a broken jaw in the sixth round. Yeah, that <laughs> that's gonna set him back a bit. Um, after that, we had Lerone Richards versus Timo Lane, uh, refereed by Rob Williams. Again, again, an undefeated 
against 14 losses. You know. Yeah, where, where's Lerone Richards heading? Is he is uh has he vacated his British title? Rather than fight um, with the Hutchinson, Hutchinson. Well, it says on box. Do you? you don't even know that, do you, Leon? No, he's got it. He's got it. Um he's got he's, what? he's won for the uh super middle title vacant. No, Lerone Richards has vacated his belt, hasn't he? He uh, no, he's still got it. What belt did Laurent Richards defend last night? One second, let me get it up. It's, my internet's terrible. Yeah. It's not loading up at all. No problem. <laughs> ah, it's not loading. It keeps uh, popping up. Fucking ran camera tonight, aren't you, Leon? <laughs> <laughs> looks, like, looks like he's not going to fight Willie Hutchinson anyway so that means he's vacated so where is he heading now Laurent Richards why don't he defend his belt and learn his craft and get along no that's what he should be doing really yeah alright then what, what next fight uh, you got the uh, Shannon Courtney fight what against you, Norek what do you think of that I thought <sighs> Norek, she it, it didn't really look like she knew what she was doing. She was just running in there and she oh, was oh, mate, it, mate, let me stop you there. What's the matter with your audio? I don't know. It might be my internet cutting out again. You're a disaster, Leon. I know. It's not me that's the disaster, it's Virgin Media. <laughs> You're the Ian John um, Virgin Media, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> In the Albert Trotter of internet. Right, go on, <laughs> Courtney, what did you think to her win? She did what she should have done, didn't she? She did, yeah. she did what it said on 10. She had to knock her out and she did. And she goes for knockout, so good luck to her. Yeah, Ooh, it was a, it was a spectacular knockout, to be honest. She <laughs> took her off. Mate, your, your audio sounds shocking, Leon. Sounds shocking when you speak. Are you, have, you got your, have you got your volume turned up too much on your speakers? It might be. I'll well, turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit then. Is that, home? Is that a bit better? Is, is that better? Yeah, that's a bit better, yeah. Right. Don't have it too close to you. Right, yeah. so Shannon Courtney, what do you think then? Good knockout. Uh, I thought, like, like I say, it was, it was a good knockout. Took her off her feet. Um... Like I say, Norek, she she was just running in like she was slapping. She wasn't, she didn't have any composure. She wasn't working. Well, she was working, but she wasn't boxing. Yeah. If you get what I mean. Yeah. But like like you say, she, Courtney got in there. She did what she had to do, and fair play to her for bouncing back off that defeat. All right then. Uh... Would you say Shannon Courtney's world level with her ability? No, no. Well, she might be in a world title fight next year. Yeah, I'd say she's British level, definitely. Yeah. European, maybe scraping European. Not, I wouldn't say she's world level. Scraping European level, God, that'll get me some. Uh, that'll get me some stick. Well, I don't agree with you on that, but it's your <laughs> right. Uh, so, who, who do we have after that then? Uh, it was the James Tennyson fight. All right, and what did yeah, you think? Just... About? It was a really good fight, to be honest. I thought it was um, all action compelling. <laughs> but um, I think James Tennyson, he, he looks like he's going to be a good prospect. Uh, like I say, good fight. Knocked him down twice. So Prospect, he's had 20 fights. Yeah, but 20, 20 30, actually. Yeah, thirty points. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a prospect, I was thinking. <laughs> well, is he a prospect with thirty fights? Well, no, but he's a good fighter. That's what I meant. I meant to say. <laughs> Does he knock out Tank Davis? Nah. No. Do you agree with Johnny Nelson's comments on that then? Well, probably the one thing I do agree with him on. Yeah. 
What, you agree with Johnny Nelson that Tennyson knocks out Tank Davis? No, I don't think he does. Oh, you don't think he does? All right. No. I was going to say then, because you'd have been slipping into casual mode then, wouldn't you? <laughs> There's no porky badge for you this weekend, is there, mate? There's no hard <laughs> Uh, casual, aren't you? <laughs> I was... You earn poster in your bedroom, aren't you? Hey. Uh, <laughs> 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 right. Go on then. Moving on to the main event. Billy Joe Saunders yeah. and Martin Murray. What did you think about that, Leon? I think Billy Billy Joe. Uh trying to pick my words carefully here. I think it was a good fight. You know, Moy went in there, he gave him a good challenge. It, it Saunders was best man on the night. How Obviously did, he how did Murray give him a good challenge? He never won a round, did he? I gave him the first. You gave Martin Murray the first round, yeah? Mm. And what other rounds? Yeah. Um, I think I gave him the third as well, and that was it. Yeah. It it wasn't so much like he wasn't he wasn't winning the rounds, but he was like he was putting him under pressure. What how, how were Murray putting him under pressure? What well, was growling at him? He won't buy <laughs> he won't buy punching at him, were it? Were it, were it? If you say he won two rounds, how did he give a good account of himself? He didn't, did he? Um he, he wasn't amazing. I don't think any of them were amazing in the ring. Um, I think Billy Joe should have... He should have been landing more and he should have been throwing more powerful shots because I th I think he was just point scoring a lot of the time. We had an unfit, inactive fighter in Billy Joe, in my opinion, fighting a kid that's shot to bits and there for a payday one last payday for his pension. That was the bottom line. It was sold on uh, Martin Murray's fifth chance to do it and 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 there's no crowd there, so it could be different. And the last thing you lose is your power and he's game and he's durable and he's rough, <laughs> tough, rugged and he's a family man. It was sold on all that. all that. Yeah. And basically, Billy Joe Son has never got out of third gear, did he really? Whatever. No, no. So... What did it one or two judges had him under 20 points? So he won, won 11 rounds and shared, shared one or something. I didn't give Martin Murray a clear round myself, and I said Billy Joe win every round, and he did. I would have liked to have seen him stop him because if you can't stop Martin Murray, you know, you're not going to go anywhere against Canelo, are you? Because if it goes to points, no. Canelo, you're not going to win. Yeah, I was thinking that myself when I was watching it. Uh, when they said about uh, him fighting Canelo, I was like. There's no chance you, you're not going to beat Canelo if you're fighting at that calibre. What do you think about uh, the show as a whole? What would you give it out of 10? Uh, to be fair, I thought it was uh, it was quite a good show. Um, out of 10, I'd probably give it a solid 7. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for that. Mm. That's the problem with casuals like you, Leon. They just think that, that show's a 7. Are you off? Are you off? I was insane. You're off your rock. I was insane. <laughs> you hey. boxing. This is not a laughing matter. You're saying that's a seven out of ten. That Jesus, you get that a five. That show that's supposed to be a world title fight in the super middleweight division, a belt that Joe Calzaghe had, and they're digging mm. Martin Murray up after 13 months out. 13. Yeah, I don't think the main event was as enticing as it should have been, but it was pretty entertaining and, you know, I enjoyed it, so. Well, as long as yeah. you enjoyed it, I didn't I didn't enjoy it. I thought it was torture, but I'm glad Billy Joe, because <laughs> I wanted Mark Tibbs to get a win on board with him and I want him to look to go in a big fight now. Moving, yeah. on, moving on from that Earn show, we've done the Warren show. Let's move on to uh, yeah. Brick Tops, Daniel Dubar show, because uh, we hadn't spoke about that. We'll just speak about the ending. Uh, what did you think of the ending and what did you think of the aftermath with all the, the YouTubers setting about him? 
Oh, uh, you know what? I think, right, Daniel Dubai is 23 years old. Yeah. He, he's, he's fighting Joe Joyce. You know, Joe Joyce isn't, you know, just some any kid in the street. You know, he's called the juggernaut for a reason. He's got a massive chin. Obviously not massive, but strong chin. Audio's too. And I think... Leon, Leon, your audio's too. For the to take the knee like that, he Leon. must have been in a cruciate. Leon, your audio sounds fucking terrible, mate. I've cut out. Hey. Yeah. You just, you, you're, you just froze for me as well. I don't know what 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 is it hammer tonight over there in Derby. <laughs> I've got full bars. I've got full bars on my um, laptop, so it should right. be all right. Well, um, crack on. What you were saying? Um, for Dubois to take the knee, I think you must have been going through some excruciating pain. You know, when you when you're in that position, you're gonna have things in your head telling you that you need to stop. You know, Joyce had two opponents before who have they've had career ending injuries from being punched in the eye so being 23 years old you're not going to want to have your career ending so i think what he did was sensible i think people that are you know they're being disrespectful towards him i think yeah yeah because what did you think to ifl and boxing social doing interview after interview after interview with the same people on the same day last Sunday, did you think that were good or do you think they were in bad taste? It's disgusting, in my opinion. It's kicking him out while he's done, you know. And fair enough, he lost. But, you know, he's years old. He's, he's going to come back. And I just don't think he was quite ready for that fight yet. Yeah. And IFL, Boxing Social, they need to get a grip because it's really not fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right then. What did you think to uh, Brick Top's opinion last night after the fight? And is he in a lot of trouble now? He's got Tyson Fury parked up with legal issues with Wilder trilogy, and his two other big stars, Dubois and Yard, have just got beat. Do you think this could be a sticky patch of Frank Warren? And is he heading towards Skid Row? <laughs> well, like you say, he's got he's got trouble with Wild, Wilder and Fury. Um, obviously, that's that's a big big thing because it, it best. Well, like I said before, Tyson Fury this is the best fighter in the world. You know that that's going to have a knock on effect for him. Um, I think Warren needs to play it really carefully now because otherwise he is going to end up in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Well, he's got more life than a cat, Frank. He could survive a nuclear blast, so he'll already be plotting because he's a good <laughs> boxing bloke, and he let's have it right. We've all wrote Frank off before, and he's bounced back, but he's up against it this time. But mm. it remains to be seen. We wish him well. Right, moving on then to the last one we want to talk about, Errol Spence against Garcia. What did you think to that? Um, I, th I thought it was an all right fight. Um Obviously, it was a deserved win. Yeah. Uh, I think. Do you, feel, do you feel that Errol Spence, after fourteen months out, has just put a myth to that that myth that goes around about people saying, "Oh, I've got ring rust and chewing up fights and all that," and he could come out after fourteen months after being in a car crash and perform like that? Do you think Errol Spence? It is what boxing's about because in England we need Billy Joe. He, he's out a year. He needs tune up fights, and he didn't mm. look good when he come back. And other people are kind of like saying, do you, "Do you think he's just put a myth to that? He's made it all look a myth." And all Spence fighting like a machine. Well, I, I personally, I think it depends on um, on the person because, like you say, he, he was in a car crash and I've seen the video and it was really bad you know to come out after 14 months and fight someone as good as Danny Garcia yeah. and win I think it, it will be inspirational for people like Dubois who you know he's been injured God knows if it's going to be a lifetime injury or it will be sorted in a couple months Yeah, but I think 
like I say, for him to come out and have that confidence where he can put himself in a fight like that and then win, it, it is really good. And I really do respect him for that. You know, 26 wins, no losses. I only see more victories coming in. Yeah. All right, then. Well, uh, we've covered a few, a few, a few hot topics. Uh, thanks for coming on, Leon. You've been brilliant. No worries. It's your second time. Uh, third. No, fourth. Oh, is it fourth? Oh, I know, we're getting yeah. a bit of a regular now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. A bit of a star in Derby, aren't you, in your area? <laughs> I've had a couple people message me saying, oh, yeah, I've seen you on Porky's Corner. <laughs> Go on, lad. You'll be able to tell all your mates <laughs> in college now, won't you? Hey. Oh, I tell them all anyway. I tell them to go watch Porky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Well, listen, thanks for coming on. It's been a pleasure. And uh, just keep chipping away and supporting boxing, mate. No right. worries, man. I'll see you later. Look after yourself, Ross. Well, cheers, mate. Bye bye. Well, that were young uh, Leon from Derby, boxing fan. He's got a lot to learn, though, I think. Bit of a casual, really. So there's no Porky badge for him this week, but. He's a decent enough kid. And that's about it, really. Three videos today in bed. It's the only time I get to have a lie in Sunday. So, all right then. So, hope you enjoy these videos. They should be out Monday, Tuesday. Peace out.